Dear friends, how do you do? In the last video, I have demonstrated the process of cutting out. I believe you have a certain understanding of cutouts. The last picture is indeed very beautiful after substitute the avatar for another stealthily. It looks like the whole body looks like myself. But there are still some shortcomings. There is still a slight gap between the color of the face and the skin tone of the body. If you want to make it seamless for cutting out, the color of the face needs to match the skin tone of the body as much as possible. So today I'm going to teach you how to mend the color of the face. Let's start learning now. Take this cutout photo as an example. Cutout has a very important secret. Do not let others know that this picture has been substituted the avatar surreptitiously. Including the size ratio of the covered avatar, it should be commensurate with the body. The tilt angle of the avatar should be moderate. The position of the avatar should also be well connected to the neck. The last point is also very important. That is, the color of the face must match the skin tone of the body as much as possible. In this picture, regardless of the size of the avatar, the angle of inclination and placement are moderate. But unfortunately the color of the face does not match the skin of the body. The color of the face is lighter. But the skin of the body is darker. There is a clear gap. It's easy to expose the flaw. Others can tell at a glance that this picture was made through cutouts. So we must eliminate this loophole. Let's look back at the picture we cut out in the last video. The color of the face and body is not too far apart. But if the color of the face is slightly mended, make it closer to the color of the body skin. That would be more perfect. There are many ways to change the color tone in Photoshop. Including brightening, Diming, darkening, and lightening of the picture. Patch the color of old photo into a bright color. As well as color replacement, beauty skin, red eye removal, etc. From simple introductory skills to professional level. We are all beginners. I am going to teach you a very simple method. Adjust the color of the face as close as possible to the color of the body skin. Its process is simple. Firstly, take a small part of the color on the skin of the body as a sample. Set the color of this sample in the color picker. Then use the color picker to scan the color of the skin on the face. I show it to you now. Open the photo you want to patch. First hide the covered avatar from here or open it again. Compare the face color of the background layers model. You can see that there is a little difference in facial skin tone between each other. It's obvious. The model's facial complexion is quite close to the body's skin. And the face color of the avatar I covered is lighter. So I need to adjust my face color. Make it as close as possible to the skin tone of the body. Right click the mouse and select color sampler tool. Scan a small part of the skin on the body. So as to extract the color sample of that part. You can also click here to open the color picker. When you are scanning, the color picker has a small circle moving back and forth. The color at that position is the sample color you selected. Press OK. The foreground of the color picker will show this color. Now I want to paint this color on my avatar's face. 
Open My Overlay Avatar at here. Right click and select Quick Selection Tool. Select the extent of faces I want to scan. If the image is too small, press and hold the Alt key plus mouse wheel. Zoom it bigger and do it. Try to select only the extent of the face. If the selected range is too large, you can switch to minus and push back from the outside to the inside. Narrow down the extent to be selected. It's almost selected. You can start to scan the face. Click Color Replacement Tool. Apply it on the face. If the circle is too big, it is not convenient to fill in. You can shrink the circle at here. Then scan on the face. Make it bigger to process. Be careful when scanning. Try not to scan unnecessary area. Such as hair, eyes, lips, etc. Otherwise, their original hue will be changed. Therefore, the diameter of the color replacement tool should be adjusted as small as possible. One thing is very important. You will see that some parts of the face are white and bright. No matter how you scan it, it's still white. The color will not change. This is because when the photo was taken, the brightness of the camera that is sensed by the environment at the time. Please take notice. I teach you this method is the simplest and easiest to learn. This method cannot be used in some areas. If you really want to change its hue, you can use other methods to remedy. The easiest way is to fill in a similar color by yourself. Now the whole photo has been mended. The skin color of the face and the color of the body skin are roughly the same. It's not easy to notice that this picture was created by cutting out. Isn't it beautiful? This is what I mean to achieve perfect result. Other than that, there are many ways to adjust the color tone in Photoshop. One of the functions is to adjust its hue and saturation. You can select image on the menu. Click adjust. Then select hue slash saturation. Adjust the settings accordingly here. You may also create different effects. I just cite one or two examples here for your reference. In addition, there are other advanced functions to change the colors. It can be very professional. Friends who are interested may wish to take a moment to investigate. Okay. The techniques of color replacement is introduced up to here. Next, I want to discuss another topic. It's also related to the perfect cutout. To achieve a perfect result. There is also a very critical factor. The avatar that you cover must be sharp. If the model's body is very sharp in the photo, but the avatar that covers it is blurry, then it's not perfect. It even affects the quality of the entire photo. So we have to find a high resolution picture to make the avatar. I have two pictures here. Now I want to take out my avatar. And then overlay on the background layer of the model. Suppose the resolution of the two pictures is the same. Which picture do you think I should choose? The answer is that the picture on the left hand side is more suitable. Because the profile picture on the right hand side is too small. If under certain circumstances, such as the model's own profile picture is very big. Need to enlarge the avatar to be covered. Then it becomes blurred after zooming in. 
Now let me demonstrate to you. So that you will understand. This is a long distance background layer. The model's profile picture is very small. This is one of the avatars to be covered. My avatar is also very small. I just cut out the picture in the usual method. For the whole process of cutting out, you can watch my fourth video. I will not repeat the explanation here. You can see that the avatar that I took out is also very small. Its size is similar to the model's original avatar. You don't need to zoom in to completely cover the model's original avatar. Since my avatar doesn't need to be enlarged. Looks pretty sharp. Now look at my other avatar. My profile picture is big and clear in this photo. If I want to match the model avatar in the background layer, I can shrink it. In the case of the same resolution, the shrunken avatar will not be blurred but clearer. So if the background model's avatar is very small, whether the avatar covered is big or small, it's no problem. As long as the resolution is high enough, it looks still very sharp. Now, let's look at another photo. The model's profile picture in this photo is very large. I put two different sized avatars on it. Let you compare what is the difference. This is my big avatar. Compared with the model on the background layer, it's still a bit smaller. You need to enlarge it a bit to completely cover the model's avatar. You can see if the resolution is high enough. Even if you enlarge it a little bit, it won't feel too vague. Look at my other avatar. This avatar is very small, but the background layer's model head is very large. It's too much difference. Need to magnify my avatar many times. So that can completely cover the model's head. But in the case of the same resolution. When I zoom in the avatar to a large size. My avatar's image will become blurred. So it's not perfect. Let's compare it with the big avatar just now. This big avatar doesn't need to be enlarged a lot can completely cover the model's head. It still looks pretty clear. This effect is quite perfect. You can compare the sharpness between the two. From the two examples just now, we can come out a conclusion. If you want to achieve perfect results, be sure to choose an avatar that is big enough and high enough resolution. Small avatars can only cover small avatars of model. Only a big enough avatar. To be able to cover all sizes of model avatars. Dear friends, This video is shared up to here. In fact, the whole process of cutting out picture takes a lot of time, especially the part that modifies the cheeks. Need to be carefully modified bit by bit. Is there a faster way to accomplish it? Yes, there is a method. I will explain to you in the next video. Please continue to watch the next video. If you think my video is done well, please give me a like, 
leave a message by the way. Help me subscribe. And turn on the little bell next to it. And share out this video. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you.